Okay. So for fun, I thought I'd show you something that I use all the time, and I really recommend that you use it as well. Um, try to get some color in my face. A little makeup here. Um, as I mentioned, I save all of my mistakes, and um, and then I work on them at a teaching table. And I thought I would run through the sequencing of how to do that, um, which means I'm going to need to show you this part up here on the table. Okay, so. Let's, uh, I'm not really going to play this hand because I just want to have a hand to save. So let's say that uh, this comes to me and, um, and I bid uh, two hearts, maybe a two spades, and I bid three clubs. Seems like we're well on our way to disaster here, and I bid four hearts. Um, and you can see that I don't have any of spades, so I'm going to get to pitch a diamond on a spade. If they give me a chance, they might take three diamonds off the top. But we have lots of clubs. So, looks like we're well on our way to losing three diamonds. They change to clubs. All right, well, this is good. Let's see, does that mean I can pitch a diamond from the other hand? Well, I got lots of losers up there. I got one diamond loser that should go under the ace of spades. Let's just get rid of that. Play the ace of hearts, and we'll take a heart finesse, which wins, kind of. We find out that they're West is out, that's seven leaving. We have to, he's got two more, so we'll give up this. And uh, rough in on the spade. And I think all the clubs are good. Oh, well, there was another. Oh, Mark, how could you make that mistake? So now I know that I've screwed up this hand and I want to save it. Miscounted the trump, and I want to try again. Okay. So what happens is over on the right side of your screen, over here, is something called My Results. You go to My Results. And you cl click on that hand, it has to be highlighted. And then you go down to options right underneath it. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to do it on the movie screen. So let's see. See options there at the bottom. And you click on that. Click on options. That will come up, and then it says export deal. And over here it says save deal as. And then it pops up onto a new, another pop-up screen. Let me move this over. Save deal as. Now notice down here it says create new folder. If you don't have any, you start with my favorite hands. But you can create a new folder to save this hand. Notice what I have. I have three no trump hands. I have the notorious fail folder, which is where this one's going to go. I have something called one no trump devils, which are those hard one no trump hands. But you can see I've done that I've got quite a few of these saved. All right, look at all those technique ones where I've actually separated the technique necessary. Um, I have little things, Ask Dave, Ask Nancy, those are partners. And I've got questions about what I did and what they did. And, um, then I have things like Bird, Eliminations and Throw-ins. That's where I've actually created all the hands in David's book, Eliminations and Throw-ins. I've created them all using the hand editor. Um, same with bridge to simple squeezes or challenge your clear play. Now look here, look at this here, look at this chick session section. All these are hands that I've stolen from chick in classes. I took a year of defense lessons from her. And I saved all this stuff. Right, those are all chick ones. There's some more books. I have like Jacoby Two No Trump, some hands just dealing with that. Kelsey is another author. That's his book on finesse, and I've created all the hands in it. There's some Michael Lawrence books that I've created all the hands in. So, and there's Make a Plan Week 3. That's where I've saved all the hands that we're going to work on uh, this coming Wednesday. 
Martin's Working Horse, another book. I have these things I call mentor. These hands are in my mentoring. I use all these hands, and I, I'm always adding to them as I play hands. And I say, oh, this would be good, you know, for mentoring. This, this is a good explanation of that. Muskegon, those are club games that had hands that I could download, so that actually all the hands were played. Anyways, way down at the bottom, I have Zaz class. That's 80 some hands that uh, Sasanya gave us um, over the course of the years. Anyway, so you can see that you, I've created lots of folders. You start off with one. It seems like you can commute. I've never had them say I can't make one, so I have lots of them. Anyway, so I failed on that hand, so I'm going to click the fail folder. Right? I don't name it, and I just put it in the fail folder. All right. Got a little phone call we're going to ignore. It's from prison, so we got to probably call back a dozen times. Um, so let's put this back where it is supposed to be. So I've saved it to that hand. Now the question is, now I want to go back and play it later. right? So I'll get out of the screen. Go back to the start screen. Do this table? Yes. Okay. So this is the screen we see when we sign on, right? And if you look down here, there's something called practice. Click on the practice tables. I think it's funny I keep clicking on the movie screen, but okay. Practice tables. And then it says start a teaching table. Start a teaching table. And then it asks you questions about what you want to do. You can just leave this blank for now. But if you wanted to put other people in at the table, you could. But I'm just going to start it up. And you can see here that we have the table that we normally see. All right. Now what I do is generally most of my hands, because I play lots of robot games and stuff, for it, and I try to sit south when I try to play with people. So my mistake hands are almost always made from the south and north perspective. So I generally just put in a robot like that, and I'll sit at one table. All right. Now you see it deals a hand automatically, but we're not interested in that hand. What we're interested in is in hands that are... Here, I better get this up a little bit higher where you can see it. Above here, you see my BBO, and you click on that, and it says hands and results. And what this will take you to is that pop up. Let's see, move this over. Here we go. That pop up where I had all of those things, all my folders, right? What I'm going to go to is the fail folder. Look at that, how up-to-date I am. It's not because I fail so infrequently. It's because I actually work. It's sometimes they pile up in there, and then I spend the morning working to them. Um, here are the, rest of the two of them. One of them is this hand that we just played. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Show. Okay. And now over next to it is the hand that we just played. All right. So it's all ready to go, but now I need to get it on the table somehow. So what you do is um, there we go, move this up. Down at the bottom, right, there's the hand. Down at the bottom, that is the little tab that says export deal. And what you want to do is click it. Right? And look there, what you get right here is Upload Deal to Table. Click on that, and now the hand is over on the table. So let me move this back so you can see it. So there it is. Right? So now I can play it again. As many times as I want, I can just keep uploading and I can work through it. Now. Obviously, we're seeing all the hands here. That's not so fun. Right? That makes it too easy. Right? So what you can do is you can go up to Options, the blue tab Options at the top, and click it. 
and you will get something called teaching options. All right. And then you can see here um, some teaching options that you can get. This is only available at a teaching table. So you can see the host, it says show all hands. Now that's no fun. Then we just click that off and click apply. And now I can't see um, the other hands of the table. Now notice if I put myself in here, right, if you sit at two hands, it automatically comes back up. If you're sitting at two spots on the table, it comes back up. But so long as you take yourself out of this seat, so the other three seats are either robots or people, you can use that option not to view the hand. And now you can try to play, you play this hand over again. You look at what could be done. You figure out what you did wrong, and you improve. So you're already in the class, which is one way to improve. Right? There's three ways to basically get better at Bridge, and one way that's the hard way. Um, you read about Bridge. You, get, you go to classes for Bridge and you review your mistakes. Those three will get you a long way. Okay, Read about Bridge, take classes or lessons, and review your mistakes. Okay? Fourth way we get better, of course, is by playing thousands and thousands of hands without really thinking about it, and very, very slowly you may improve. Um, on the other hand, you acquire such incredible bad habits that it takes forever to break them. Anyways, that's a little explanation of how to use the teaching table how to save hands to play at the teaching table, and how to put them on the table so you can, you can play them again. All right? Mm -hmm.